I'm kind of glad you didn't pick up. I kind of just called to hear your voice. I miss you. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about our love. Hi Rich fam! Welcome back to a video! If you're new here, my name is Rich and welcome to my channel! For today's video, join me as I unbox and give an honest review ng isang very portable and quite tiny na true wireless earphone and that is the Pro 5S or the Pro Mini. So, let's go! Hello mga Courage Fam! How are you all doing? Okay ba kayo? Hindi? Oo? <laughs> anyway, for today's video, samahan nyo ako mag-unbox and mag-review ng package na to. This is actually a PR package from afashionmy.ph. They have a Shopee shop and an Amazon. I'll put the link of the seller on the description below. They were kind enough to send me this. This is supposedly yung magiging future design ng Apple AirPods Pro. But this goes along the line of the InPods Pro 3, 4, and now this is the 5S. So para siya yung pinaliit na version ng AirPods Pro. So let's get started. Buksan na natin. Ta-da! So, dalawa yung pinadala nila. Wow, this one is unexpected. Here they are, the AirPods Pro 5S. As you can see, yung isa ay sealed and the other one is not. Um, according to the seller, this one is the original version of the Pro 5S. Pero meron din siyang black na color na variant. While the other one is the Class A version ng Pro 5S. So, this one is cheaper. It only goes for 399 pesos. While the... The original one is at 456 pesos. If you guys remember when I did a review of the InPods Pro 3, dalawang klase rin yun. Yung isa may blue light, yung isa may green light. And on that case, yung may green light ang mas better quality. So I'm assuming that's the same case with the Pro 5S. So this is probably more premium and better quality while this one is so-so lang. But of course, we'll have to find out. So let's get started with the review. I've been thinking about our love and how much I miss you. This is the charging case. At the bottom is the USB port. At the back, wala siya ng on and off button. And at the front is the notification LED light. Inside are the AirPods. Ang size ng mga AirPods ay around 2 cm in length. Yun na yung pagkakagawa niya at totoo naman yung mga mesh part, hindi lang basta-basta sticker. At the bottom is the charging pin. On top is the touch control at gumagana naman yung touch control sa mga multimedia functions except sa volume. Meron ding mic located at the bottom sa bawat AirPods. Smooth yung hinge at maganda yung magnetic lock. You can charge the AirPods via the charging case. 
mapapansin nyo na walang red notification LED light ang bawat AirPods para ipakita na nag-charge sila. Ang only sign ay yung LED light sa charging case na nagpa-flash ng red and green. Ang battery capacity ng bawat AirPods ay 30 mAh. It will take 30 minutes for the AirPods to be fully charged. Ang battery capacity ng charging case ay 400 mAh. It will take one and a half hours for the charging case to be fully charged. For the Bluetooth pairing, I tried to wait for the pop-up on my initial pairing, pero wala siya, hindi siya lumabas. Kaya, tinanggal ko na lang yung mga AirPods to see if it will appear on the available devices. But on my second try, lumabas naman yung pop-up. So medyo hit or miss yung paglabas ng pop-up sa mga iOS device. Though it shows automatic ear detection, hindi yan gumagana kasi wala namang proximity sensor yung bawat AirPods at wala rin silang noise cancelling feature. Pero gumagana naman siya sa mga multimedia controls. Pwede mo rin palitan yung pangalan ng Bluetooth. At pwede mo rin gamitin yung mic sa either left or right AirPod. Sadly, hindi rin gumagana yung volume control via the touch control ng AirPods. My test, my test. In case you're wondering if you're going to use it on a voice call, a video call, or even a Zoom meeting. <laughs> well, I'm using it right now. So for those who are asking, yes, this is a real mic test. But please do know that I'm in a controlled environment. Meaning, I'm filming late at night, so kahit papaano, quiet ang surroundings. I'm far from any interferences like Wi-Fi routers or any other phones na nakaturn on yung Bluetooth. At iba pa. So if in case you're going to use any wireless earphone for that matter, just know na maraming factors ang pwede maka-apekto sa mic or sa listening experience nyo. Just like those interferences that I mentioned earlier. Here is the Pro 5S. Real talk lang mga rich fam, if and when I do a review ng mga InPods Pro versions or mga AirPods Pro clones, I try to lower or even manage my expectations because at the end of the day, these are just a fraction of the cost ng mga original Apple AirPods. Having said that, the Pro 5S surprised me in a very positive way. So simulan na natin pag-usapan ang mga pros and cons ng um, AirPods Pro 5S. Well, let's start with the design. Well, even with the box. To be honest, makapal yung box niya. Maganda yung pagkaka-print. Pati yung pagkaka-print ng start guide. Maganda rin yung papel. Glossy. So, it's really a lot different from the previous mga InPods Pro versions. As for the design of the charging case, malit lang siya talaga. But, kahit pa paano, it's got a little bit of weight to it. And it really feels sturdy. It's also interesting na wala siya nung uh, metal hinge like with the previous versions. This is the um, InPods Pro 4 and this is the Pro 3. Ayan o, no, meron silang nung metal na hinge at yung pindutan. Dito sa Pro 5S, wala lahat yun. So it's really minimalist looking at maganda yung design. Surprisingly. 
And with the AirPods Pro itself, yung design maganda siya. Totoo yung mga mesh niya, do wala siya ng mga proximity sensor. So yung in-ear detection, hindi siya gumagana. Wala rin siyang noise cancellation na feature. As you can see, yung mga AirPods itself ay pinaliit. The light is around 2cm lang, so ganun siya kaliit. Pero kahit pa paano, it's really comfortable to wear. Sakto siya sa butas ng tenga and hindi siya basta-basta ang nahuhulog. I also like the fact na finally, yung touch control ay nasa taas na na part. Which is here. Unlike sa Inpads Pro 3 and 4, which if you've seen my previous videos, ang lagi kong nire-reklamo is yung touch-sensitive controls nila sa gilid. And that's not the case here. Dahil nga sa taas na yung touch control niya, kahit humiga ka sa kama ng patagilid, hindi niya maapektuhan yung touch controls. But now, here are some of the cons na napansin ko sa kanya. The first is, wala siyang notification light. Kasi usually, yung mga inputs or airpods mayroong blue or red light to show if you're connected or disconnected or it's um, searching or pairing. For this one, wala siya, no? And also, yung sound notification naman niya, if you're pairing or not, is just like a strum of guitar. And medyo faint siya. So, kapag nasa ma maingay ka yung surrounding, baka hindi nyo marinig na nag-pair na pala siya. And obviously, ang design niya is half in-ear. Hindi siya talaga in-ear type like the InPods Pro 3, which is this kind of design na nag snub fit talaga siya sa loob ng tenga mo. This is half in-ear lang. So, yung um, noises sa uh, surroundings mo can greatly affect your listening experience. Ang isa pang concern na pansin ko is kapag matagal na siyang wala sa charging case at hindi naman siya nakapair sa any device, hindi nyo siyang basta-basta matuturn on via the touch control. So what you have to do is put it back sa charging case, kahit saglit lang, put it back and then take it out. And then it will auto automatically pair with each other and connect to the device. I'm assuming that and the lack of notification light are battery saving features. Speaking of battery, let's talk about the battery life. Well, for me, the battery life is two thumbs up because uh, ginamit ko siya continuously and umabot siya ng 5 to 6 hours and that is at 30 to 40% volume. And of course, you can also charge your AirPods directly sa charging case for about 5 times. 4 to 5 times, I think. Now, pag-usapan naman natin ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, which is the sound quality. Well, since I've already tested the InPods Pro 3 and the Pro 4, I can honestly say na ang Pro 5S ang pinaka-maganda ang sound quality. Aside from the fact na meron siyang 3 modes, which is bass, hi-fi, and pop mode, maganda talaga yung pagkaka-equalize ng sounds niya. It actually reminds me of the original Apple na wired earphone. And usually, when it comes to this kind of cheaper na mga AirPods Pro clone, um, ina-expect ko na na medyo okay lang yung bass. Um, just like for example, dito sa InPods Pro 3, medyo malakas yung bass pero parang kumakatok-katok lang siya. But surprisingly, sa Pro 5S, may depth yung bass. Hindi naman siya totally bumabayo, pero maganda yung quality ng bass niya. It's really pleasing to the ears. Maganda rin yung mic niya. It's quite clear. So, if you're going to use it sa work at home or homeschool setup nyo, it will really serve you well. Pero, napansin ko lang sa mga ganitong InPods or AirPods Pro clone, madali silang maapektuhan ng mga interferences. Like, for example, you're in an open space or may maraming TV or cellphone sa katabi ninyo, naapektuhan yung reception ng Bluetooth ng wireless earphone. Nyo. So, medyo nagcha-choppy-choppy or minsan nawawala siya. So, you just have to find a, a different spot so it will, you'll have a better reception. Pero kung nasa bahay ka lang naman and you're in your room, then you probably won't experience that kind of bad reception. Overall, I'm going to give it a thumbs up and a 9 out of 10 rating. Because maganda naman yung battery life niya and to be honest, yung sound quality talaga yung na-impress ako. Because coming from the Pro 4 or even the InPods Pro 3, uh, the Pro 5S is hands down the best when it comes to the sound quality. Also, the battery life is good. The design itself is really nice. It's really tiny and portable and comfortable as well to wear. Pati na rin yung price point. I think this is 456 pesos na lang right now. And mas mapapamura ka pa kapag ginamita mo siya ng Shopee vouchers and coins. Please be sure to visit the link of the seller in the description below for the updated price. And in doing so, 
Uh, check nyo na rin yung mga iba mga products nila. They sell a lot of products like from toys, uh, wireless earphones, pulse oximeters, thermometers, at marami pang iba. So please visit the shop of afashionmy.ph. A little disclaimer, hindi po ako affiliated sa shop na yan. Hindi po ako kikita or I won't have any commission on any sales of the product that I review. I like the fact that they gave me a review freedom. So I'm not required to say just positive things about the products that I review. So that's thumbs up to them. And I'm truly grateful that they support a small YouTuber like me and for them to send out their products for me to review is you know, really nice of them. And at the end of the day, ikaw mismo ang bahala kung gusto nyo bang bumili ng product or not. Because we're in a pandemic, so we really have to be practical. Siya nga pala yung Pro 5S na Class A, which is slightly different sa design ng Pro 5S na original. Uh, I'm going to do a full review nito sa next video. So if you're into this kind of videos, I hope that you'll consider subscribing. Anyway, that sums up my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's your boy Rich, and I'll see you on the next video.